You might have been shared a link to a Google Doc from an email, for example, or found a link to a Google Doc in a website as part of a tutorial or something. When you open it up, you discover that you can't make any changes. So for example, I'm clicking this document, I'm typing away, and I can't make any changes. Then I notice up the top here that some of these tabs have been grayed out, whereas other parts I can't even access. So what's going on? Basically, this means you have been given view only access to the document. So there are three kinds of access to a document. You have view only, edit access, and then comments. And comments are where you can't edit the document, but you can give feedback or comments. Now, if you've only got view only, as you can see here in the green button, it means you can't make any edits to the document. Why is this the case? Well, Google Documents like Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Docs, when they're shared, everyone has access to the same document. So if one person edits something in a document, then that will be reflected in everyone else who has either view, edit, or comment access to it. So if you're given a document that maybe you don't really understand or it's part of an official documentation and you accidentally make a mistake on it, then everyone else will see that same mistake. So let's look at some of the reasons why you may only have view access to a document. I'm going to flip over to the editor screen here. Number one, it might have only been meant for you to read only. So perhaps if you're in an organization, you've just been given a new policy. Well, you don't need to edit access to that policy. You just need to read the policy, right? So all you need to do is find a place to store that so you can get to it easily in future. So let's flick back to the other account here where I don't have access. So I can't edit this and let's go to file and you can still go down to here where it says add shortcut to drive. So I can click on this now and then I can navigate to somewhere within my drive and I can click on add shortcut here. And now if I go to my drive, this document is now in your drive in the location that you've sent it. You still won't have edit access to it, but you now have access to a live document that the editors can change if necessary. Another reason is that it might be an example document or template. So for my example, as a Google Workspace educator, I have a lot of live templates and samples of Google Sheets and Google Docs online that users go in and click and then want to have access to. As an example document or a template, if you want to edit it, you can actually make a copy of the document yourself. To do that, all you need to do is go to File and make a copy. So this time around, you are making a copy of the document that is yours. So any edits that are on the document that you copied from won't affect the copy that you have now. It's your own copy that you can share or edit just for you. So let's click on this and it usually starts off with a copy of. So let's get rid of copy of. And now we can navigate it to somewhere in a drive. Let's just keep it in my drive for now and click on OK. And then you'll get a little pop up of this new document. So now I have the one that was shared that only has view access and then my very own copy of the document. And I can actually go in here and now I can edit. So cool. But if I go back to the original document here, you can see there's no edits. And if I flip back to the owner of the document, you can see there's no edits that we made there. So all the edits that were made were on your own copy of the document. And lastly, the owner may have simply forgot to make you an editor. Now, this is generally not the case. And one thing you should check before uh, you make a request to edit the document is to have a look up on the right hand side of the Google Sheet and check whose account is accessing it. Perhaps you're accessing it from a personal account where you have a Google Work account that may have edit access. So double check that first. And now let's just flip over to the view only account here. And if you're 100% certain you've checked up the right hand corner that yes, this is the account that should have edit access, you can click on this view only button and select drop down. And then you can click on the request edit. From here, you can send them a message, say, hey, I think I need edit access uh, for this document. And then you can click send. And then the editor or the owner will receive an email. And once they've read it, they will give you edit access if they believe that you need it. Okay, so that's the three reasons why you probably have view only access to a document that you share. Now I'm showing you an example of a Google Sheet, but this could also be uh, the same for a Google Slide or a Google Doc.
If you want to know more about how to share documents in Google Sheets or in Google Workspace in general, or learn how to prevent request edit access from spamming your inbox, check out the two links in the description below. Until next time.